Hey guys, and welcome to episode 4. I think it's 4. I've just eaten, so hopefully I will be informed today. And I won't make any mistakes like I did... Uh, I can't remember if... I, I think I made some pronunciation errors, like... Because I was hungry yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I can't remember when I'd done it. But yeah, so, okay. Moving on to one of the biggest things I wanted to do in this level. And that was to make the, the actual... Um, the quarters, where uh, the spaceman lives in, <laughs> should I say, yeah. Okay, so, <clears throat> let's quickly go ahead and make the living quarters. And now, I wanted to make the living quarters, I was going to attach it to the, to the back. So, but, uh, maybe if I just, maybe stretch this out and then just add it to, yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and select these outside faces and just drag them out. Just, just drag it out. Now the living quarters is going to be a small little uh, cube. Cube? Can I say cube? Actually, wait, 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 wait. Controls that that. Let's... i got a better idea. Okay, we'll select all of them. I'm going to drag it out a little bit. I'm going to select these ones on the edge. I'm going to extrude them out, just to give it a little bit more of an enticing floor plan. <laughs> enticing. Well, that's a big word. Surprised I knew how to use it. Okay, now, <clears throat> I'm going to add the walls. Uh, I'm going to thin this out to about there. Bring it back. Make it tall. Taller. Bring it up. Bring it back here. Oh, Jesus. That is massive. <laughs> I don't want it to be that big. Break to there. What does that seem about? Does that look like a wall to you? <laughs> okay, so we'll move that to the edge. We'll put it outside the map a little bit. So it like plugs into the wall. And I will start optimizing them in a bit. First, I want to make sure that it all works and fits together. So we're going to drag it out to about here. Extrude a little bit. To about there. I'm going to grab this edge, extrude that out to about about there. I'm going to extrude that again to about there. There. Yeah. No, no, no. What are you doing? I want to go past there and then extrude that out to about there. And grab it. Uh, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just building the wall here. There. So I can delete that face. Delete this face. I'm going to delete the ones on the bottom and on the top. So we literally just have the wall. You know, once again, just optimizing, trying to save what we can. I'm just going to drag them up a little bit more. I don't really know where the ceiling is going to be. I should really put it in, but <clears throat> that'll make this level more complicated and harder to move around. and. For now, I'm just going to oh, put the ceiling in last. I don't want this what it's starting to look like anyway. So I'll grab these bottom faces. <laughs> bottom. And delete them too. So now we literally just have <laughs> our shell of a wall. So we're going to go ahead and click and drag that down again. Just so that it's in the floor. And there it is. It's cute, right? Now we're going to have to add in a door. Where are we going to put the door? This will seem the most logical place. But first, let's decorate a bit. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate our wall light and bring it in here to have above the door. Right? <laughs> That's so cool, right? Nah, no. okay, just me. Alright, now first, I'm going to double click and change that to wild just so we have an easier rotation. Rotation, moving, circle. And I'm just going to add that above where the door will be. About there. That seems about right. So we're going to go ahead and hold right click. We're going to go ahead and click edge. We're going to click on one of the edges. Hold shift, hold right click, and insert edge loop. And basically what this does is we can add our edges in. So we want the top of the door to be about there. Now the side of the door. We don't want it too wide, we don't want it too thick to be about there. And we'll try to go equal on this side as well. 
to about there. Now this door, we're going to, well, let's go face, select, delete the two faces. So now we literally have a hole in the door, I just realized. That's only added it to one side, hasn't it? That's not what we wanted. Um, why did I make a mistake by deleting the faces? Okay, so I'm just going to control Z. Just ignore everything I've done for now. I want to grab the faces back, the top and bottom faces back. Is that, is that fine? Have they still got their bottom faces? Yeah, I still got their faces. But I also want the side faces. Give me the side faces. Oh, they got the side faces. All oh, right, okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought, you know, maybe because I've eaten, I'm not going to make a mistake today. But clearly, that's wrong. But rather than starting again, I'll just control Z. And rather than carrying on, make things, make sure that we do things properly the first time around. So we're going to just carry on doing what we were doing. I'm going to go ahead and add our door in. Out there. That looks perfect to me. Yeah, that seems perfect. Then we got a face, and then we delete the two faces. So now we literally just have a hole in the door. Just realized. Didn't create that edge over there, so we're gonna go ahead and have to create our own one. So I'm gonna switch to wireframe. No, I'm, I'm going to change my view completely to this one. Would that be the one? Uh, no, I'm just going to change the wireframe on here. Now I have to add the edge exactly where that one is. So this could be hard. I think I've just done it. Go ahead. And we'll just move it down to match this one exactly. Bingo! <laughs> Did not know that that would be that easy. Okay, let's go back to change that. And delete. So now, as you can see, we literally have a hole in the door. So I'm going to go ahead to edge. And I'm going to select one edge, hold shift, select another edge. And while holding shift, I'm going to right click and click bridge. Now on the right in your attribute editor, you'll see divisions. I'm going to change that to zero because we don't like having extra faces that we don't need. Now I'm going to carry on and do that to the three remaining, so division zero, two remaining even, now, now it's one, and it will bridge this one too. There we go, there we go, that leaves us room for our door. Now one more thing, if we're going to object mode, I drag this up, you can see it left a little panel on the floor, so we're going to go ahead and delete that one, we don't need it. There we go, that's perfect. Now back to where we were, I'm going to go ahead and delete the faces we don't need. Which is what I'd done too early last time, but now is perfect timing. Delete them, I'm going to drag this up a little bit more. And we're going to delete these on the bottom here to delete, 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 delete. Okay, so now we <laughs> once again left off our shell. I'm going to drag this down. So that's inside, like so. Now we have room. Okay, so just imagine there's walls and there's a roof. Because I don't want to add them in just yet, because that'll make building inside a lot harder than it should be right now. So, what we're going to do first, we're going to have a desk in the corner, a bed attached to this wall. We're gonna have it like hanging off with, uh, say, a chest below. Um, over here we'll have a bookshelf, a table with some dining chairs, and then here we'll have the kitchen area. All right, sounds good, let's get started. We'll start with the bed. So, I'm gonna go ahead and create our bed. <laughs> That's a really cool looking bed. And then we're gonna make sure we get the scale right make sure that it's not hanging outside the other side of the wall. Okay, 
Oh, by the way, this isn't the actual bed. This is the the bed frame. <laughs> Before you start thinking that's that's really cute. That's ugly. Which shit is? Just like this. Extrude that up. Go. Now we gotta chuck a mattress on there. Wait, actually, first we need to. If you can remember what we've done with the lights, I'm gonna put them on the bed as well, just so that you know it's not just hanging there endlessly, even though we are in space and I guess you could say it has no gravity. But that's just making up excuses to uh, simulate your laziness. So. I'm not lazy anymore, <laughs> of course I am, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but you guys know what I mean, right? Yeah, so, of course you do. So I'm going to drag that in there, I'm going to have that about there, okay. Move that to the end, about there, we have that a little bit thicker, so we'll move it that way. So piercing out the side, like so, I don't want to go inside the bed. I want to come out to the left a bit more. That little bit thinner then. Like so. So right, it doesn't matter if it's there, because that's where the mattress is going to be anyway. So we'll scroll up. And I'll quickly delete that face to say it's doing it later. Add that back down. So it's inside. And we'll go ahead and select that face. A little bit smaller. Rotate it so that it's pointing at the wall. We'll, we'll make that rotation final in a minute, but for now, we'll go ahead and add in our cylinder, which will be holding that. If you can remember, if I get back here to inputs, if I change the subdivision, I think we had six. Six was enough to still look slightly circle. So we'll go ahead and add that in over here in the corner. Make it small, but not too small. Just click and drag, make sure plugs in perfectly, seamlessly. Yeah, as you can see, everything's a bit too small, so I'm actually going to go ahead and make that bigger and make it actually physically part of the bed. Like so. Uh, wait, wait, we'll make it a little bit. Then we go that way. This would be a cool bed ish. I want that poking out the top. I want them to see that it's hanging on something rather than just floating. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add in our cylinder shape, which is simulating a wire holding something up for now. Let's go ahead and um, can't exactly center it because we've altered the shape. We'll do our best we can, which will be there. That'll do. Then we'll see we'll angle it. And move it that way a bit, down a bit. <clears throat> Let me quickly delete the faces on the bottom, which we don't need. So, I think that's like the bottom one. Okay, so optimizing as we go along is probably one of the biggest things we have to do. Alright, so now that that's in, go ahead and select these faces here. Oh, these faces here. Yep. And now. If I change that back to object, okay, close it. I just drag that out. You can see that's going way too high. Well, that'll be like going into the ceiling, which isn't exactly what we want. We want to go into the wall. So I'm going to go back to object mode and rotate it so that it's like going into the wall. Like so. I zoom back in. I'm going to change this back to world rotation or movement scale. 
thing. And move it back into the center. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these edges here again and just carry on with what we were doing. Watch, oh, oh no. Object. Just carry on with what we were doing and move that into the wall. As you can see now, it's in the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete because we don't need them faces anymore, as you can see. So that's empty now. And that's also going into the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now I'm gonna add another cube, which is gonna be the same as this cube down here. So I might as well just duplicate that and move that up. It's gonna be exactly the same, however, we're gonna rotate it that way, 180. So 180 on the Z. And oh, we can just do that anyway. There we go. Okay, now we move that down. Grab that face. Rotate it as well. Now I'm gonna actually make this bigger. Like so. I have that in there. Maybe a little bit more down. There we go. As you can see, it's piercing out the other side, so I'm gonna rotate that. So it matches, and I'm just gonna move it up to hide it. Just like so. Okay, so now it's like hanging out of bed. Which is exactly what we wanted, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that and move it to the other side. Oh. Move it to the other side of the bed. If I hit F, let me just make sure that's right against the edge, just like the other one. You can see now we have a hanging bed with no mattress, but <laughs> at least it's a uh, bed, right? <laughs> okay, so let's go back to object mode. I just want to make sure that, as you can see, I didn't. So I'm going to move this out, and I'm going to go ahead and delete these faces, which we're never going to see. Okay, delete. And go back to object mode and move that back in. That's perfect and optimized. Right now, as you can see, this whole level so far is only 687 faces, and we have got quite a bit in here to be fair. Got our lights, we've got our bed, <laughs> cut some pipes, some boxes, some wall lights. Oh, that's what I want to do. And duplicate that wall light and move it over here above this door. Right there. We want, we want to be a little bit more professional here. Make sure that it's in the center. Is it that button? No. So this one, yeah. So we're just gonna, just gonna fine tune it. Make sure it's there, like so. There we go. Now we have <coughs> our light above our door. Um. Yeah. Okay. So we got a door. We got our bed. Next thing we will make is the chest and the mattress and possibly the door itself. But thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.